Hi guys, it's Dr. Veronica Vax again, and today I am going to talk again about silent reflux. Silent means there is no heartburn, but there are other symptoms such as asthma, hoarseness, chronic cough, or ear infection. The reason I'm talking about that is because one of my subscribers asking me, I have a silent reflux, post-nasal drip, how come I don't have heartburn? Well, I decided to dive deeper into this problem and look what I discovered. Turns out that about more than 50% of asthmatics actually have asthma because of acid reflux. Can you imagine these people are taking asthma medication and their asthma could be fixed if they can fix their reflux, right? The same could be said about people with ear, nose and throat infection. Up to 94% patients are taking, I am sure these patients are taking antibiotic medication, right? To deal with their bronchitis or laryngitis. The same could be said about chronic cough. Now, is there any explanation why there is no heartburn in some patients, but there are other presentations? Okay, guys, don't be scared. This is my uh, usual picture uh, once again. So here's the mouse with the teeth. This is our digestive tract, esophagus, low esophageal sphincter here, hydrochloric acid is produced in the stomach right here, pylorus is here, then we go to the bathroom right here. The blue is a pulmonary system, trachea, bronx, and this is the lungs. How extra gastrointestinal symptoms are happened when um, people have like asthma or post-nasal drip? We believe that acid comes out of your stomach and it actually comes here to the posterior throat. By the way, this is the, this is the nose and it's supposed to look like that. So when you take a breath in, the air comes in here oxygen comes in here okay and this is the acid that comes here to posterior throat could irritate this is post nasal drip and if it's irritate trachea bronx could be bronchitis or asthma now i found three explanation why there is no heartburn number one one article saying that the amount of hydrochloric acid that comes out of stomach is actually almost negligible, but enough when it comes here and see it on already a little bit inflamed trachea or bronx, and that's what this little amount of hydrochloric acid can create inflammation. Not enough hydrochloric acid to create inflammation here in the esophagus, but enough to create inflammation in the pulmonary system. So number one, very little hydrochloric acid comes up. Possibility number two is, so here's our brain and nerve called vagus comes out of brain and provide nerve supply to both to digestive tract. So the branch comes here and at the same time, the branch comes here into pulmonary system. So the branch out of vagus comes to esophagus and at the same time to trachea and here and here. And what they thinking is that this hydrochloric acid comes here very little, sits on this nerve, create inflammation on this nerve, the inflammation goes along the nerve and this inflamed er nerve constantly firing and it's firing here in the pulmonary system and that's what is created, extra digestive tract complaints. So reason number two, the same nerve, the same nerve supply okay for two for two systems and reason number three is that sensitivity of esophagus is diminished in some people so when hydrochloric acid comes here yes it's make create inflammation people just don't feel it here and it comes up here but they feel it here and that's what is actually creates inflammation in the pulmonary system number three decrease sensitivity Okay. And there is the article was talking about particular people with extra weight. Don't know, don't ask me why extra weight, uh, people with extra weight have a low sensitivity. There was no inflammation. Now, uh, excuse me, there was no explanation. Now, what we are going to do with all those people who have solid reflux? Here, what we are going to do, we are, we are going to treat your gourd the way we treat it as a regular gourd. So step number one, go see my uh, video here on my channel, eight most common causes of acid reflux. Identify your cause. If you drink too much liquids with your food, stop drinking with your meals. If you don't chew your food, start chewing your food. If you took antibiotic and create damage to small and large intestine, restore the small and large intestine. If you need help with that, I already started one month program 
cure good with soundtrack so ask me for help contact me here and in general subscribe ask me questions here i am ready to answer all your questions thanks a lot guys bye bye for now